I have also enjoyed, while being here, some durian. Now, you know, people either like it or they really don't like it. But I really like it. And I just uh, feel at home when I'm in a place where there are such beautiful tropical fruits. So Cebu is known for many things. But I want to tell you, Cebu is also known for a center of God's influence in the Philippines. Every one of you is part of CPUC for Christ Season 2. There is no one who is left out. Everyone is part of integrated evangelism lifestyle. Everything is coordinated in total member involvement. Everybody doing something for Jesus. And I want to thank Pastor Katani and those who have welcomed us so nicely, have brought us into fellowship with you. But Pastor Katani mentioned something at the beginning when he was introducing me that an emphasis was made, and I make it all the time, because it's even truer now than it was in the past, and that is, my brothers and sisters here in Cebu, Jesus is coming soon. That's why we're here today. That's why we're having this special evangelism rally, Ambassador Tejano. And what a privilege it is to have Ambassador and Mrs. Tejano, Ambassador and Dr. Tejano with us. And they have done an extraordinary work in helping facilitate our arrival in the Philippines several days ago. Without their intervention, without God working through the ambassador, it would have been impossible for us to be here because of all of the restrictions. But I want to tell you, we had a special mission. One of them is to come and visit with you and what a privilege it is to be here today in this large auditorium, perhaps one of the largest facilities in the Seventh-day Adventist Church in the Philippines. What a privilege to be able to focus our attention on evangelism. Now we arrived in the Philippines and after a few days, we took a trip to Mindoro. Mindoro, as you know, is one of the major islands, territories of the vast Philippine archipelago. In fact, Sister Tahana, Sister Tahano was telling us as we were flying yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, there are 7,300 islands in the Philippines. Amazing. Now I suppose maybe a few of them are not inhabited, but most of them have people. That's why evangelism is so important. That's why IEL is so important. That's why TMI is so important. That's why I will go. Yes, Lord, I will go is so important. Well, in Mindoro, something unusual was happening. You may have heard about it. As you know, in certain areas, there are people who have not been cooperative with the government. They have been opposed to the government, actually violently opposing the government. In Mindoro, there has been a rebellion, rebellious approach for 50, 60 years. The government has tried many different ways to touch the hearts of the people who were rebelling. I want to tell you something. 
you and I may look like we are law-abiding citizens. We may look like we are composed in our approach to life. We may look like we are conforming to the appropriate habits in life. But I want to tell you, unless Jesus has control of our hearts, we are all rebels. For we are fighting against that which is true and honest and of good report. You know, young people, if you ever have a challenge in front of you, if you're ever tempted to become disillusioned and angry and rebellious, go to Philippians chapter 4 and verse 8, where it tells us, to think about those things that are of good report, those things that are, that are honest and true, those things that will lift us up. When you fix your mind on focusing upon Christ and His righteousness and His pure way of living, you will no longer be a rebel. You will be one of Christ's greatest followers. Thank you.